Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. All right, I just got notification that that table was delivered. So we're gonna head to the UPS store to pick it up. And I'm gonna bring it home, put it back together and give it a good testing. Let's go. It's a box, inside of a box. Got to sand down the holes. I think it's pretty good. And I think it's a good idea to keep the arm on that because the, since this is going into carpeting, it's not all that sturdy, but it doesn't need to be. This is what needs to be sturdy. And that's not going anywhere. I have the A6600 sitting on this table now and it is ever so much sturdier and I've got a little bit more surface area to work with, which is cool. Here we are, it's all done. And next thing is going to be to shoot some overhead stuff. Let's check it out. Although I guess before we do that, let's, let's show you what it all looks like. So wooden contraption with the arm and the arm brace there, table, chair. Let me move around here. It's gonna make it a little bit tougher to maneuver around here but that's what I've got this path for. All right, so from this side, now you can see where I sit behind all my equipment and lights and so on and so forth. And yeah, definitely, definitely much better. Okay, so here you see me, I'm sitting in front of my A6600 center rig and you can see the arm and everything for the ZV-1 that I now have set to the overhead and I'm going to now give a demonstration of this new table that I have set up that I got for overhead shots. And I'm gonna do that just by showing you that I've got my iPad here, and this is my big 13 incher pro iPad, and I just wanted to show you, you know, like there's the pencil, here's my hands, and you know, I go out to my fingertip on that end and where my thumb ends right there so that you can see, and, and it goes way out to the sides here, just so you can see how much room I have based on where I have this placed right now. Now, at this point right now, I just, you know, if I were gonna sit here and show you something, you know, I can open up LumaFusion and boom, here's a video of my wife playing with the cat, show the cat playing with his new, new special mushroom toy, and I can do all the editing and this, that, and the other thing on the iPad. So this is the kind of stuff that I would be doing with this overhead shot stuff if I were going to be doing something on the phone, I mean, on the camera, I can also now do that, show you the lens, this, that, and the other thing. I would probably put it on product showcase so that it would go back and forth. I can also show you this low pro bag that I got, this sling, and show you, ooh, ah, look at the insides and all that kind of stuff. And I can put, you know, the A6600 in here if I so desire. And it's gonna take me a while to get used to where to put this stuff. And I can stick my 18 to 105 lens in there, which at this point is my biggest lens. I can put my mini in here. Nice little pocket there. And I can put the pencil in, so on and so forth. Zip that bitch up. And now I've got my pack for the day if I'm gonna go out and shoot some videos. So there you go. You can see that this is a total success. The table was easy to put together, as you saw. All I had to do was unfold the legs. That's all I wanted to show you today, was how I set this up. So you know what I did? I had that little TV tray thing on there, which turned out to be way too flimsy. I built this wooden contraption so that I had a relatively stable support for the camera arm, or yeah, for this arm or whatever, that is still just too flimsy. Uh, kind of disappointed in that, but again, you got to work with what you got. And, you know, I got my lights and everything all set up and my lighting is good. I got that down and my skin tone is right now. I now have a little spot that I can do some overhead stuff if for some reason I ever do that. If nothing else, I have something that when I'm doing these videos, I can sit here and I can lean on it. And I don't feel like it's going to break because it's not a flimsy piece of cheap metal and plastic. That's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, suggestions, whatever, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.